Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my TNA review. A lot of big things happen on the show tonight, so let's start off with Impact Wrestling. Coming out first, Impact tonight. All of Immortal comes out. He talked about Anderson, saying, Hey, I beat the crap out of you. You beat the crap out of me. You still kept coming back. And he kind of talked about how this is kind of going soft. He was talking about Anderson, saying, Shake my hand. And just admit you lost and stuff. And Anderson didn't want to do it. He started fighting Bully Ray, fighting Steiner, fighting Gunner. Then Immortal just kind of jumped him in. Then they held him up and hit Anderson with the chain. And they had to take Anderson out of stretch it in. So they got rid of him because um, Bishop said, Hey, I should have listened to you, Bully Ray. I got rid of him. He said Hogan was on the way to the arena. And saying Abyss, I'm going to have to deal with you tonight, he says. Uh, Mickey James versus Madison Rain, number one contenders match for the knockouts title. Mickey James won that with the Mickey DDT, real big right there. So Mickey James won the match. Kendrick finally, Brian Kendrick finally has a new theme song, better than the whole violin thing. Beat Robbie E tonight. Austin Aries is on commentary on there, but uh, Kendrick won with the sliced bread number two. Uh, Robbie E, uh, I guess he kind of got rid of cookies. I'm done with her now, so yeah, I got rid of her. Um, Bound for Glory Series match, triple threat tag team, as I must say. Pope and Devon, Beer Money, and AJ and RVD. So that was going to be a big match right there with all the points on the line, who was going to win. And it was going to be big right there. Beer Money picked up the win. Robert Rue got the pin over Pope. Uh, real big right there. So Pope is now had, I'm sorry, uh, Robert Rue has another additional seven points, which has moved him up now to second place now. So Beer Money's kind of in second and third place now. At least Storm's in second and Rude's in third, if I'm not mistaken. Other stuff that happened tonight on the show, um, Kurt Angle. He talked about how he took out Sting and had the same chair to prove because it's because Dixie Carter lied about it in the past with the whole Jeff Jarrett taking his wife and because the person who don't own this company, like, it doesn't matter if Hogan's in it, it doesn't matter if Dixie is in, because Sting wasn't saving this company, Kurt Angle says. Wasn't saving at all, because he said, I'm going to get Sting and Dixie Carr, because they don't own this company. And then before Angle was trying to leave, Sting had the baseball bat, and Angle tried to block it with a chair, but Sting hit the bait hit the chair out of his hand with the baseball bat and then Hulk Hogan comes up with a chair and just beat up Sting with a chair kept punching his head so it may be that Kurt Angle is now part of a mortal so I think that may be happening right there uh, other ma matches that happened Miss Tessmacher or I should say Brooke Tessmacher and Tara went against ODB and Miss Jackie uh, I guess they let him in now with contracts uh, Miss Te uh, I believe Miss Tessmacher beat, sorry, Tara beat ODB with a roll up. I guess it kind of shook hands, but barely. Um, other stuff that happened. Karen Jeff Jarrett came out with the AAA title, and we're in Super since they were from Mexico. They brought out uh, Jose and Jose B. And they you know they take the Guerrero over there, talking about Guerrero, until Jarrett started attacking him, and Hector Guerrero came out with a chair then. Uh, new star teenage Jesse Good Gooders. Uh, well, he's from Big Butter, or I guess from Brick Big Butter and stuff. So I believe he's in the show now. Are going to be debuting soon, so that's going to happen. Uh, another Bound for Glory series match, Fatal Four or, or Four Corners match, I should say. For that, Anderson came back but got beat up by Bully Ray and Bully Ray and Gunner. So Bound for Glory series match, four way dance really. Bully Ray, Scott Steiner, Gunner, Crimson, even though it looked like it was a three-on-one, Crimson was able to, you know, pick up the win, roll up on Gunner, but after the match, Kurt Angle came out and attacked Crimson. He's going to take out all the young guys, Kurt Angle says. He'll be taking out all the young guys on the show. So watch out. I think he snapped his ankle almost, if you ask me. So I don't know what's going to happen there, so... Let's just say it was better than what happened in Hardcore Justice. Now, I don't want to say Hardcore Justice was a bad save. It may have been. But it was the finish of those matches that were sucking out there. So, I'm just getting in right here with my Impact Wrestling view. I know it's kind of a little short right now. There's something else I would like to say real quick before I end this video.
And I may, I may make a video out of this, and I may not. But it's something that's, something that's really pissed me off, something that has to do with wrestling. Now, I know this is, in, you know, interfering with Impact Rest of You, but TBS is kind of retarded for taking out Lopez tonight, which I think was one of the greatest shows in the past two years of late night television until they got rid of it. Yeah, I know they got Conan back on there. And I thought both shows were making a hit, but it's a shame they had to get rid of Lopez. I may make a video a little more on this. I may not. But I hope George Lopez just, you know, gets another show in the future. Maybe the same show. Maybe they'll put him on a different network. But watch out for SummerSlam this Sunday. Real big. I have to talk, maybe, maybe make a video on that. Because... A lot of things are changing in WWE and TNA. I don't know what TNA is going to do after what happened at Hardcore Justice, but after watching Impact Wrestling tonight, I think I'll probably give this a 7 out of 10. It's all right for a show. Yeah, and uh, X Div just make sure next week, X Division, Gauntlet. Gauntlet for next week, because Eric Bischoff says if you're going to be in the X Division, it only has to be under 225 pounds now. It's going to be Gauntlet for... Um, Brian Kendrick's title and Austin Aries says he's going to work close with Bischoff and I see they sign up some new talent there in TNA for um yeah TNA for the X-Men like Zima Ion and Kit Cash I'm still trying to get the other two guys names I know they were in the x Division tournament but uh that's going to be big right there and next week maybe Scott Bayo versus Eric Young with this whole television title thing but if you ask me Kurt Angle probably may join for a mortal but in this 7.5 TNA See you guys later. Peace.